subscribe to emi channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of the videos which i upload hello students i am back today i am going to challenge you that no one might have told you till now sign conventions for myopia and hypermetropia normal sign conventions in ray diagrams we will discuss in the textbook whereas myopia and hypermetropia sums to do them also if you follow certain tricks it will become very easy for the sums and numericals which they have given in the textbook and if they appear in the examination also it will become very easy for us to do the sums and now please see the video till the end to know properly how to do myopia and hypermetropia sums i want to discuss them clearly okay and i am going to give you easy tips to do numericals on myopia and hypermetropia which are very very important even though if you see in your textbook there are also some sums on myopia and hypermetropia to do them we have to follow certain tips what are those tips and how to do them and what is the formula you are you are going to use i am going to discuss briefly in this video see till the end about how to do the sums and what are the formulas you are going to use and what are the values you are going to use here are some of the tips before discussing i want to make it clear that basic knowledge of all ray diagrams and sign conventions you must know anyway i am planning to do one video on ray diagrams and one video on sign conventions in the future but basic knowledge of ray diagrams and sign conventions if we don't have it is difficult for us to understand even myopia and hypermetropia i will say certain tips uh, without which also you will understand but uh, i am telling in light lesson learning ray diagrams and sign conventions is very very important always basic knowledge convex lens convex mirror concave lens concave mirror all ray diagrams are very very important i mean to say heading ray diagram characters and how to draw ray diagrams you must know because if ever uh, you uh, get any problem in this lesson you should be in a position to draw even the ray diagram when they ask whether they ask or not you have to draw so i want to discuss some of the basic rules for myopia and hypermetropia here remember always for myopia and hypermetropia use lens formula only mirrors formula we won't use because lenses are uh, uh, the specs which we use for myopia and hypermetropia we use lenses we don't use mirrors so lens lens formula only we should use and lens formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u coming to the myopia rules as you can see on the video take a object distance u infinite and image distance minus far point and take f negative remember again 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 i am saying very very important don't keep any sign for the value which you are finding okay and when you are taking u object distance infinity 1 by infinity take it as zero and v is minus far point which they will give in the text uh, sum itself coming to the hypermetropia rules take u minus 25 cm because 25 cm is the least distance of distribution i mean to say near point of a normal eye and v is equal to minus near point which they will give in numericals only and uh, focal length you take positive don't keep any sign for the value you are finding and problems and numericals pertaining to myopia and hypermetropia we must follow these rules to solve what are the rules you understood i think because if we follow this rules only then we can do the sums these rules normally they will not discuss any way please pause the screen and check out and note down these rules which i have given in your textbook and follow these rules while doing the sums thank you